In today's class, we discuss a few illustrative examples um, to show the relationship between torque and uh, angular momentum. We know that the relationship is torque is equal to dl by dt. Okay, look at the uh, expression here. Torque is equal to dl by dt. Um, so let us try to show this result again explicitly in the context of a few examples. First, we will look at uh, so we will consider two problems that we have already discussed uh, and we have already calculated angular momentum uh, in these uh, systems. Okay, now we will look at rate of change of angular momentum when there is a torque and we will see how uh, we get this relationship torque is equal to rate of change of angular momentum so first consider uh, the problem of a sliding block this we have discussed uh, previously as problem one in one of the previous lectures so this is the problem we have a block of mass m uh, sliding along the x direction okay So we have a block of uh, mass m which is sliding along the x direction. Uh, suppose there is no friction with some velocity v. Okay, <clears throat> so the, we have calculated the, tor uh, the, the angular momentum of this block about this point, let us say b, which is uh, at a perpendicular distance l from the x-axis. Okay. Um, so, how do we calculate it, uh, this? How, how did we calculate this uh, angular momentum? Or how do we calculate it now? So, angular momentum about the origin B, L B is equal to. Um, okay, uh, we need the position vector from the origin to the body, right? So, let us draw it here. This is the position vector. Let us call it R B. Okay, so this is the direction of RB. So this is RB cross linear momentum that is M into V. Okay, now we can see from the figure that uh, this R cross V which is the cross product uh, between the, the two vectors here are R and RB and V. So R cross B when you take it is uh, the, the, the rotation, the, di the sense of rotation is anti-clockwise. So if you apply right hand uh, rule, we get uh, the direction of the torque along the plus set direction. Okay, so this will be the direction of the, uh, not torque, direction of angular momentum. So this is the direction of LB. Okay, so what is the magnitude of LB? Magnitude of LB will be um, perpendicular distance to the linear momentum, uh, right? R perpendicular into magnitude of uh, linear momentum. So R perpendicular is from the figure. You can see that uh, the perpendicular distance from the origin uh, to the line of um, motion, that is uh, the line of uh, the vector linear momentum mv is per L, right? So <coughs> we get L into mv. Okay, so L into mv, this is the magnitude of uh, the moment, uh, the angular momentum and the direction is along the uh, plus set direction. Okay, so we can write it as m l v k. This is the direction of the angular momentum. So if there is no friction uh, along the uh, x-axis, okay, the motion along the x-axis, the velocity will not change if there is no friction there is no force acting on this body so the it will undergo uniform motion velocity will magnitude of velocity will be constant direction will be along the plus x direction so uh, since uh, velocity will be a constant um, angular momentum also will be constant there is no change in angular momentum now let us assume that uh, there is some frictional force acting on this particle okay so we will draw this figure again. Here is our body. 
let us assume that uh, some frictional force is acting on this body. So, uh, the, what is the direction of this frictional force? It is opposite to the direction of motion of the direction of velocity of the body. So, this is the frictional force F which is acting tangential, uh, which, which is acting uh, parallel or opposite to um, the direction of uh, motion. So, if there is a force, then there must be some torque acting on this body. Okay. Uh, so, let us calculate the torque about the same origin B. Okay. Here, one important point is that uh, when we calculate the torque acting on the body, we should choose the same origin where, where, uh, with respect to which we have calculated the angular momentum. In order to calculate the angular momentum in the previous step, uh, we have chosen B as the origin. Right. So, here also let us choose B as the origin. Okay. So, I am going to calculate the torque acting on this body about the same origin. So, again we need the position vector. Okay. Here is the position vector RB is the direction of the position vector. So, what is the torque acting on the body about the point B? RB cross the force F. So, what is the direction of this torque? Uh, if you look at uh, R, RB cross F, the sense of rotation here is uh, clockwise. So, the direction of the force uh, torque will be along minus Z direction. So, let me draw it here. This is the direction of torque. Torque with respect to the point B. Minus Z direction. Right? What is the magnitude of this torque? So, magnitude of torque is perpendicular distance. Um, perpendicular distance into the force right uh, so here uh, the perpendicular distance is again L uh, but the force is along minus X direction so we have to put a minus LF okay and uh, the direction of the torque is okay we, do, we don't have to put uh, two minus sign so the magnitude of the torque I can put as um, yeah maybe we can do like that the magnitude of the torque is uh, L into F so the, the minus sign we can give either to the magnitude or to the direction so let us take the magnitude of the torque as L into F then the direction of the torque will be the direction of the torque will be minus Z direction. So, we the, the, the vector uh, value of the torque is L F K. Okay. Now, so we have obtained the expression for angular momentum. We have obtained the expression for torque when there is friction. Now, let us try to calculate uh, what is the uh, rate of change of angular momentum. Okay, so what is the situation here? Here uh, the angular momentum is along the, look at the first figure, angular momentum, so we will, we can show it here. Uh, the angular momentum vector is along the, look at the second figure, angular momentum vector is along the um, plus set direction and uh, the torque is along the minus set direction. So because of this torque, the angular momentum will be reduced. Okay, so uh, if we draw it like this, um, the angular momentum vector um, maybe at the time t is this. Angular momentum vector at a later time t will be something like this. It will be at t plus delta t. Okay, that means its direction is the same but its magnitude has reduced. Why? Uh, is it that its magnitude is reduced because of the torque acting along the uh, minus set direction. Okay, So, uh, there is a decrease in angular momentum. What is the decrease in angular momentum? It is along the minus set direction. We, let us call it as delta L. Okay. So, what is this delta L? This delta L okay, with respect to the point B This will be, uh, what is the expression for LB? Uh, the expression for, look at here, expression for LB is 
m l uh, m l v along the plus z direction right so uh, the change in angular momentum happens when there is a decrease in uh, velocity of the particle because of friction so delta l is its magnitude is m l delta v but its direction is along the minus z direction so it's minus k direction okay from this uh, second figure we can see that uh, angular momentum along at the time t is uh, here uh, along the plus z, uh, plus z direction with some magnitude uh, whereas angular momentum angular momentum at the time t plus delta t is here its uh, direction is along the plus z direction but magnitude has reduced so the decrease in uh, angular momentum delta l is along minus z direction okay so also we, we should remember that uh, delta dl by dt is equal to torque so delta l and torque should be along the same direction okay here also it is both are in the minus z direction so change in angular momentum is this much so let us divide this happens within a time delta t so let us divide both sides with delta t so delta l by delta t is minus m l delta v by delta t along okay this is along minus k direction now if you take the limit delta t tends to zero on both sides so we have limit delta t tends to zero then left hand side becomes dlv by dt rate of change of angular momentum about the origin b and uh, right hand side we have minus l dv by dt along the direction uh, minus a direction okay now this uh, m dv by dt according to newton's second law this m dv by dt is nothing but f okay so if you substitute that value we get dl by dt is equal to minus l f k that is uh, we get dl by dt is equal to l into uh, f this f is nothing but frictional force acting along the minus x direction okay now look at uh, uh, this let's let me call this as yes, equation 1 the expression for torque as equation 2 and this as equation 3 now let us compare equation uh, 2 and equation 3 okay equation 2 gives uh, the expression for torque torque is equal to minus lfk equation 3 gives the rate of change of angular momentum and that's equal to minus lfk so this from equation 2 and equation 3 it's clear that uh, rate of change of angular momentum with respect to the position the origin b is nothing but torque about the origin b okay so we have established this result in the context of this problem okay um, so it's also to be noted that uh, the direction of change of angular momentum will be along the direction of the torque okay here the magnitude of the angular momentum decreases along minus that direction and uh, from the second figure torque is also along the minus that direction okay and another point that uh, we have to stress is that we should calculate um, the angular momentum angular momentum depends on an origin because uh, there is an r cross mv there is it depends upon the position vector that means it depends upon the choice of the origin and torque also involves r cross f it depends on the choice of the origin so when we calculate in a, in a same problem we calculate angular momentum and torque of a body angular momentum of a body and torque acting on the body we should choose we should use the same origin for both calculations only then we can establish this result okay if we shift to the origin then the situation can be different for example there is a torque acting on the body um, about the point uh, B okay but the torque about the point A will be zero okay look here uh, this force is along minus uh, x direction at uh, the frictional force so if we calculate torque of this force about uh, this origin the this point okay here at this point uh, at the origin of the coordinate system that will be zero 
So if we calculate angular momentum about the point B and uh, ang uh, torque about some other points, we cannot uh, get this relation. Okay, so both should be about the same point.